Hello artists! Today we are going to start creating our full moon landscape. We are going to go over value and how we can make it look like a full moon. We're going to do this in our sketchbook. I want you to turn to a clean page. So make sure that there's nothing behind it or in front of it. You're going to use both pages. For now we're going to use this side. And we're going to go over value. I want you to get a marker or a pencil and start by writing value. Value is the light to dark of a set of colors. So I'm just going to write light to dark. Now I'm going to draw an arrow, light to dark. And even a little box here to kind of help me when I'm creating. We did a little bit of this last year, right? One, two, I'll do four different boxes, light to dark. Now, one more thing that we're going to do before we start painting is we are actually going to write mono chromatic. Mono means one, right? One. Chromatic means color. All this means is that it's one color. So we're going to create a value that has one color. When I'm done, I'm going to close my marker and save it for later. Now you have all of these colors here. Since we have a blue moon, it's not really a going to look blue, but the blue moon means it's just the second moon cycle within the month. So since we have two full moons in October, we will have a blue moon as the second moon. So I'm going to choose a color. I'm going to use blue. You can use whatever colors you want. I'm going to wipe my paintbrush in the water, and I'm going to start with my color. The, the idea is that it's light to dark. So where am I going to start if I have the darkest color? Where it says dark. So I paint with my watercolor. Now can I make that darker? Probably. So I'll make it darker. Maybe even darker. Okay. Now I go, I'm not even going to really need to wipe off my paintbrush. I just need more paint. Then I go lighter. Is that lighter than that one? Sure. Could it be a little bit darker? Maybe. But is it lighter than that one? Yes. Then I keep going. Now the trick is that the more water I use, the lighter the color is. So that's almost the same, so I need to add more. It's almost like adding the color white when you paint with watercolors. Watercolors can be very tricky that way because there's no white in watercolor. And then I'm going to go the lightest. What that means is I'm barely going to take any paint, maybe even dip one more time in the water cup, and there's my lightest. The light to dark of one color. Okay. When we're ready, we're going to move on. Now I'm going to keep this open because I want to look at this while I'm creating. I'm going to start with my moon. And you could use a pencil. I'm going to use a Sharpie. I'm going to trace my moon. If you don't feel comfortable with doing it with a pencil, I suggest, with a sharpie, I suggest using a pencil. So I could put my moon wherever I want. That's my decision. So I'm going to trace my circle for my moon. Bam. Now if I make a mistake, especially with the sharpie, all I need to do is just make that line a little bit thicker. No problem. Then I close up my Sharpie. Now we want this, I want my moon to stay white. 
that's my goal. So I'm just going to keep my circle there. I want to keep it light. So we're going to go from light to dark. Okay? Light to dark. And I can even help guide myself if I need to, because it's going to look like the moon is radiating light. I can maybe make a circle around that circle. Not perfect. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then another one around that circle. And then another one around that circle. Now you can't see it very well. It's not meant to be seen. It's just meant to be a guide. It's just a guide because look, we have our one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to start the lightest by the moon. So what that means is I get a little bit of water and paint and then I spread it around the best that I can. Just a little bit. All in my first area. Then I go ahead and I get a darker color. I could just use my water to help blend. And it's okay if you think you're doing it wrong. Just practice. Practice makes perfect. The next one goes darker. So that means I barely used a lot of water, mostly paint. Now let's look at it so far. Looks like the moon is radiating light. Now I'm gonna go darker. Now, if you want to, let's say that's not dark enough, that's as dark as that blue goes, I can incorporate a new color that's very similar. I'm going to incorporate some purple. What it's gonna do is I'm gonna mix the two together. So I'm gonna go get the blue, and I can go get some purple. You can do this with other colors too. And I made the color a little bit darker. Now maybe that's not dark enough. Z, not dark enough. I want it to be darker. This looks like all one color. Okay, then try some black. Maybe try it first on your value scale to see what happens when you add black to it. And go get some black. See what it does when I blend it a little bit on the corner. It makes it a little bit darker. Yeah, now that really is starting to look pretty good. So maybe I want to start with some black, go on top of it with some blue. That's how I make my shade. Maybe throw some purple in there, get some black. Go with back to some blue. even add some accent lines in there if I want to with some black. Yeah, looks really cool. When I'm done, 
maybe I want to do some finishing touches. I can add some accent colors. I'm going to add a little bit of purple in there because I really like the way that purple looks. You can keep layering more colors on top if you would like, but I would stay away from the middle because that's the lightest you wanted it to be because it's supposed to be radiating light. That's the value that we wanted to get. So if I said I can see this now, I'm going to look. My light to dark, right? Light to dark of one color. Now I did add some other colors in there and that's okay. That's fine. It looks great. Now when I'm done, what I'm going to do next week is we're going to add some spooky trees to our artwork. Okay. All right. Great job today. If I wanted to add some details to the moon, let's say I wanted to add a little bit of value to the moon, I can do that, but I have to be super, super careful because I don't want to mess up my moon. So I would have to like really add like just water marks in here. Um, I wouldn't suggest doing too much if you like the way the moon looks, but try it if you feel confident.